Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This your man's 40 Acres and Me. Coming back at you. Coming back at you. So here we go with the um, with the raspberry plant. Right here, as you can see, it's growing pretty good. Underneath two fluorescent lights. Right here. Two LED fluorescent lights. All right. All right. Now here we go with the strawberry plant right here I'm doing pretty good it 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 is it it kicked back up after a while it's doing pretty good as you can see a lot of the new growth right here you know the new stuff you know and then i got the oh that's so vivid and so vivid red mustard greens got them growing pretty good pretty good um, I will be repotting these soon. Um, I don't know why. I put more red mustard green seeds in this soil, but I don't, I'm not sure exactly why. Only one end up kicking up out of all the ones that I put in there. So, um, some kale. I, just, I guess it just be like that sometimes, but this is some kale. I kept that in the, um, in a red cup you know i will be switching them over to pot soon and i got some um collard greens right here um there we go boom that i also kept in a red cup as well but now i'm switching over boom to here we go the high pressure sodium bulb the 150 watt high pressure sodium bulb y'all now it's what it, it's what it is you know what i mean it's what it is. Made by Sun System. You know. Basically, this is it. So, these were in a red cup. These were in a red cup. I went on here and I potted them uh, not too long ago. Maybe about a few days ago. Boom. Looking good. Spotted up pretty good. Now, I don't know why, but seems to be right here a collard green inside the kale okay this is this is all kale right here but this seems to be collard green up in the kale <laughs> there collard green up inside the kale how that happened i don't know I don't know, maybe I had a collard green seed in there or something like that, and it just happened to um, come out along with the kale, you know, but that's collard green, and, and so here we go, we got more collard green right here, boom, you know what I'm saying, coming out of this, and it's, all of these were in the red cup, all of these were in the red cup, you know, but you know doing pretty good you know to give kind of a size comparison I'm gonna do a size comparison we got some more kale or whatnot you know what I'm saying but here's this, you know just to give kind of a size comparison you know it's my hand and you know so it's growing pretty good what y'all think what y'all think? All right. Now, this is just an update on them. I'll continue to do uh, some updates on them as they continue to grow or whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, that's it, y'all. That's it. So, this is just proof to the naysayers that, yes, you can grow your own food indoors. You can grow your own food indoors, but this this is obviously going to get larger. I'm I'm gonna definitely add some more things, but um, but yeah, this is it right here, y'all. All right, stay tuned. All right, here we go again. So um, I mean, here's just an update. Uh, this is a week later, all right? So y'all seen the video earlier, all right? Y'all seen the video earlier. Let me get this up out of here. 
and get this up out of here yeah you know so y'all seen the video earlier that was a week ago i took that video a week ago so actually you can see you know how everything is coming along you can see how everything is coming along you know and so like i said this is a week later um this is everything that's underneath the uh led fluorescence right here look at that yeah this is an indoor garden y'all indoor garden the kale looking very nice very nice very healthy healthy stems you know what i'm saying so y'all can do this y'all can do this okay i got the uh raspberry plant here look at that i just love how that look <laughs> yeah buddy all that new growth on there look at all that new growth on there <clears throat> And then here is the strawberry plant. There's a lot of new growth on the strawberry plant as well. Um, a lot of new growth forming right there. Yep, yep. Looking pretty good. And I got some kale or nah, uh, collard greens right here. Collard greens. You know, doing good. Doing pretty good. Doing very good. Looking very healthy. Yeah, looking very healthy, you know, looking very healthy. All right, let me go ahead and turn this joker around real quick. So, you know, there you go. Hold on, I can get that over here. Okay, all right. But yeah, yeah, there you go, kale. Uh, co uh, collard greens, I don't know why I keep calling it kale. The kale is right here. Uh, red mustards looking very nice and healthy doing their thing yeah. I mean everything underneath the LED lights is looking very good looking very uh, healthy now we're gonna go to everything that's underneath this 150 watt high pressure sodium ball Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I'm working with. One of the leaves that I'm working with right there. Got kale right here. Got kale. Uh, you know, some good old collard greens good old collard greens you know good old collard greens looking good I mean this is about you know this is about ready to be eaten you know I mean you could eat this you could eat this right now if you you know wanted to or whatnot but you know there it is collard greens two collard greens and two kale and there's a kale that actually has a collard green plant in it <laughs> i don't know how that happened but you know like i said maybe a seed dropped in there or something like that and um and uh, putting the collard green in the kale, y'all. But that's all right. Uh, you know I love mixed greens now. Sure. I can do both. Sure. All right. Um, all right, y'all. You two. Y'all go ahead. If you gain any information or if you got any questions, please leave a question in the comments section. Um, I'm, I'm willing to answer anybody's questions. On If you have any questions, you know, about how I do indoor gardening or um you know any any questions about specifics you know i'm willing to answer your question um just hit me up in the comment section you know i'm not like that i do talk to everybody that i can see that leaves a comment in the comment section all right so you know don't be afraid 
you know, hit me up in the comment section. And also, yes, also please like and share the content, y'all. Share the content. We trying to get more people to get out here and do this. See, we want to make this a cool thing to do. So people get on board with being able to get you know be comfortable with doing this in a house you know or if they can you know you know do it outside you know year round if you can you know what i mean um but want to get com people you know more comfortable with um growing their own fruits and vegetables growing their own food basically because you know i mean i, I can't tell the future y'all but one thing I do know is that if the grocery stores close today, or <laughs> look, I'm gonna be straight. Me and my family are gonna be straight tomorrow, okay? So we want to just, you know, spread the word. Let people know, look, it's a cool thing for you to go ahead and grow your own food. You see, I'm doing it. You know, and this is just a little something, something. It's just a little something, something. You know, but I, I will uh, be stepping it up eventually. But um, as I stated, I will be doing a prep video. Be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna put some real gems out there, y'all. I'm gonna put my real gems out there, and I'm gonna show my face. <laughs> All right, y'all. Much love to everybody out there that's been following the channel and they've been showing love, been supporting since day ones, y'all. My day ones, man. I really love and appreciate all of y'all for real. So, y'all keep rocking with me, all right? All right, peace.